While the death count continues to rise, so does the number of Missourians receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. We have team coverage for an update on COVID-19 here in Mid-Missouri. KLMU Bates' Connor Dietrich is reporting on the Fulton mask mandate coming to an end. But first, let's head over to KLMU Bates' Cindy Moran to tell us more about Mizzou Med students trying to help minority communities. Emily, I followed around three MU med students today when they went to black owned businesses and restaurants, but they weren't stopping to eat. They're handing out flyers like this one, letting people know they're here for you and want to answer your COVID-19 questions. I'm here to protect my family, my community. Words most people are saying as we near the one year mark of the COVID-19 pandemic. If we want to grow stronger so that if something like this happens again, we'll be more prepared. These three MU students say that preparation starts now with a conversation. At the African-American male going into medicine, at times I feel obligated to do what I can to go into the community and kind of have these frank conversations. According to the Missouri COVID vaccine navigator, only 3.4% of the black population have received at least one dose of the vaccine. This number does not include multiracial individuals or other minority groups. Some argue its vaccine hesitancy is keeping that percentage low. It's not usual to see someone who looks like us that in this community that are doing the things that we're doing. Going into the community and addressing those concerns is what they did Sunday. The students visited black owned businesses like South Florida style chicken and ribs. He did a great job. He made actually made me feel comfortable. These students want to continue to make people feel that way. There are people who are trying to make changes and maybe you won't see us all the time, but we're here and we're working and we're trying our best and hope to be the best for their future patients and working towards being the physician that you can come to and working towards being the physician that you can trust feeling comfortable and ultimately relieved. Local health organizations are hosting a webinar later this week to keep that conversation going. The panel is going to be made up of black doctors and nurses. It's from it's on Wednesday from 6 to 7 30 p.m. And you can find the link to join that webinar on our website at KOMU.com. Live in Columbia, Sydney Moran, KOMU 8 News. Back to you, Emily.